Leo is not coming. Cleo, go. I don't think I'll be able to get into the car, no problem. I don't think I'll be able to get out of the car. I can help you out. Welcome yeah. to today's video, guys. Um, this is gonna, just going to be a pretty chill vlog, and I'm going to order some new parts by the end of the video as well, which I'll show you guys. This is Vivian's first ride in the BRZ since, well, probably since July last year. July 27th was when the accident happened, and I picked the car up two days ago on January 27th, so exactly six months. You have lottery tickets in here from November 27th, 2021. Wow, that's rough. we picked the car up. It does have a car heater, or seat heaters. Yep. Yeah. Well, the camera was pointed at your butt when you were getting in, so. I told Vivian, the sound system sounds better than I remember, and I wanna show you guys the settings that I did. Uh, I left Sound Restorer on. I think it actually does sound a little better with Sound Restorer on, especially if you're streaming like from Spotify or Apple Music. Virtual Bass, Virtual Bass was on mid, and it was just making the car sound really weird. So I took that all the way off, and then Dynamic Beat Enhancer, I turned that off as well. And I noticed a huge drop in bass, so I I'm pretty sure it turned down the subwoofer by a lot but I think it sounds better. And what I did, because of that, I turned the virtual bass off. I went to the EQ settings and I raised the bass all the way up to, you know, eight. And I think that sounds really good. We'll play some music on the ride and see what Vivian actually thinks. Okay, cold start. Do you think the beer Z sounds good? I mean, it's not as good as the type part, but it sounds good. I think I might do a second gear pull and see Vivian's reaction. Ready? It feels way quicker. Really? Yeah. It's getting old. This is, it's more fun than I remember. Last night we went over a bunch of colors, uh, both 3M and Inozatech. We're trying to brainstorm what would be a good color to wrap the Type R this year. And I think me and Vivian's tastes are like the complete opposite. He wants to do like really lame colors. And I think he should do a very bold, unique color that nobody else has. Because it'll make it stand out. Yes, but I also don't want to, I don't want the car to look like flamboyant. I like those cool colors like, I think 3M, uh, it's called light green ivory or light ivory. Maybe, I don't think it's green, I think it's light ivory. They have a bunch of really, really nice looking gray and silverish colors. I, I like weird stuff like that, but, but at the same time, it's not like super bright and flashing in your face. There's also this color, which is like, uh, it's purple. I think that's really cool. And then there's this orange color. So, I don't know, let me know what you think, but I'm, I'm gonna get the Type R wrapped. I think it should be a bold color. It's a Type R. Yeah, it already it, blend. it already stands out just the way it is, just because of the, the the shape of the car. Yeah, but you're a YouTuber. You should get a color that nobody else has. Well, that's going to be tough because everything's already been done. Nuh-uh. Color-wise, wrap color-wise, yes, everything's already been done. But you see more, it's more common to see cars in like silver or the ugly sand color is way more common than than like the the lava orange one. I think orange would be really cool. Yeah. I really like the idea of wrapping the car orange. I've never seen an orange Type R in person, but I have seen one wrapped, like a, a picture of it, and it looks really cool. Purple. I don't know if this is. I just don't know if this is the right car I don't think to purple. be purple. Yeah. I do like the purple color that I just showed you guys on screen, but I think orange would be the way to go. If I'm trying to do something like in your face, I think I'm probably going to do orange. Do in your face. And obviously we can't do blue. No. There, it sucks because there are a lot of really cool blue wrap colors, but I don't want two blue cars. Just like the time that I had two freaking gray cars. You know? So how does it ride?
when we were pulling out of our like neighborhood, I did have to hold my belly up. Pull it up? Why? What does that do? Uh, it's kind of like my own version of suspension. Oh, so Vivian told me this morning, I'm, I'm looking at all the cold air intakes. Well, cold air intake, I know it's, it's essentially a hot air intake. I know the best intake so far for this car is the stock air box. I know this. I just think it'll sound really cool. I mean, the car already sounds cool as it is. I love this thing. This car is going to be ridiculous when I supercharge it. We're here at Caliber Collision. I'm going to pick up the Lexus, but I see Marco's truck, so Marco's working on something. Well, that's an epic fail. I tried to rev it and uh, no response, so <laughs> cool. Damn, look at this thing, guys. Yeah, buddy. All right, also another thing, uh, I am using a GoPro Hero 10 Black right now. I couldn't find my GoPro Hero 9 the other day when I was going to pick up the Beer Z, so I ordered a GoPro Hero 10. The, the 9 will come up at some point, but for now, we have a, a semi-new GoPro. Vivian doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> I don't have a door. You have a door, the door's right here. You don't have a I door. I don't have a window thing. No? Oh, you have AC? I'll put this back on today. Oh, yeah, I need some, uh, I need an intake, guys. And also, I think I want to do equal length headers. Or an, an equal length header, sorry. It's not headers, it's only one header. Well, I really hope that this new GoPro is working well. I'm not gonna know until I start editing this video. What I am gonna show you guys right now is uh, this is the current driveway situation. And it kinda sucks. Like, I'm not allowed to park in my HOA. I know, I know, I shouldn't have bought a house in the HOA, but when me and Vivian bought last year, this is the best we could do. Even if the Lexus is like all the way up, or if the B or Z, the B or Z is gonna be the one because I'm daily driving the Lexus. Let's say the B or Z is all the way up to the garage door. I can't park them both like that because it's covering the sidewalk. And that is an HOA violation, like they will fine you. Anyway, it has to be parked like this, which really sucks until I can get the HOA to approve my project to widen the, the driveway. It's freaking crazy, dude. I just wanna be able to live my life. I'm not trying to hurt anybody, I'm just trying to exist. Well, it's time to finish the vlog. You have probably seen my last video. If you haven't, you should definitely watch it. The Lexus, we still haven't picked it up, but uh, my alternator went out on the Lexus, got stranded on the highway, which was partly my fault. Anyway, this video is about the BRZ. I am going to check the status of the paint because this is the side that was not touched, right? The whole entire left side of the car was painted. So that looks, I mean, that looks really, really good. Except Marco told me to not ceramic coat it yet because I'm gonna redo the ceramic coating. He told me not to touch that yet because he needs to wet sand and buff it. I don't know what, I don't know why he needs to do that, but that's what Marco told me, so. All right, let's see. This is the side that was painted. Let's see what the beading properties look like, okay? Not very good, but that's understandable because it's literally just clear coat. Brand new clear coat, but still. Yep, that's all been painted too. Okay, and the windows, the windows are about to get polished and ceramic coated. So this is what they look like before, take a mental note. The beading is kind of okay. I might switch these out for carbon fiber mirror caps. Now let's check the windshield. Yeah, the windshield, the beading properties are trash, so. Actually, I might even do that before the end of this. You know what? That's what I'll do this video. That's what I'll do. Let's check the hood. Okay. So there is a distinction here. Right here, so Marco blended the left side of the hood. And uh, the right side, I believe, has not been touched since Eddie and I ceramic coated it. Look at the beading properties over there. Very cool.
just in case it does start to sprinkle or rain, this needs to go inside. Unfortunately, I have not put in my new garage lights yet. I have a whole bunch of, dude, this thing is gonna be lit up. Also, I think I'm gonna buy a Husky workbench. There's like a, Home Depot has this 46 inch standard duty Husky workbench. And they also have this 52 inch heavy duty uh, workbench. So I don't know which one I want. I really like like the matte black, the 52 inch one. And it would just be that much more room if I need to like tinker with something or let's say I'm messing with headlights or whatever I need to work on on top of the workbench. And then I can put that right here. Yeah, I think I might take Vivian's Jeep and go pick that up. Or I might have to, I might have to use Marco's truck. Marco did say I could use that truck when, uh, if, if I need it. With the workbench and getting all this cardboard out and then organizing it, I think I'm gonna be pretty close to the way I want this garage to look. I know I should get the floor done before I start throwing more things in here. I don't know, if any one of you guys have done the floor, your garage floor yourself, um, please let me know what that experience was like because paying a company to do it is a lot of money. I have some isopropyl alcohol here. This is 70, well, it's strong, 70% isopropyl alcohol. I just tried to use the spray bottle. Spray bottle's broken, so don't have a spray bottle. Honestly, I really don't care all that much, so. You're using this to get off the last few bits of contaminants off the windshield. I did not deem it necessary to clay bar. Some people are going to be like, whatever. Some people are gonna be mad at me for that. Um, it is what it is. I'm just trying to do a quick job. I think I'm just going to use this ultimate polish. I've had this for a while. I think it's gonna do the job. This is gonna be nothing new to my longtime viewers, but for those of you who are new to the channel, you just want to rub this in and get this uh, get this nice and moist. Cause you don't want a dry, you know, piece of foam going crazy on your car. That's what it looks like now. Now I'm going to put probably four of these dime-sized drops. You know, I'll do another one in the middle. And then I'll go like this and spread it around. 4,000 RPM, let's do it. That's what it looks like actually the, look over there, the Type R windshield is getting replaced right now. Now you are just going to wipe this off this is coming off super easily. Everything comes off the glass way more easily than it does the paint. That's what I've noticed. So doing glass is kind of a blast. Oh, that feels so good already. Super smooth. Damn, that was phenomenal timing. So he just finished up the windshield on the Type R and it just started raining. Phenomenal timing, but Unfortunately, the back of the BRZ already got hit. I mean, wet. Please don't get hit. This is what the garage looks like, just with those two lights on, which, I mean, the yellow garage light doesn't do anything for me, but. So I'm going over the windshield one more time with some isopropyl alcohol, and you can see, I hope you can see on camera that it's, it looks rainbowy. Yeah, now you can see it. The ceramic coating I got specifically to do all the glass on all four of our cars, is the C Quartz UK 3.0. Uh, this is the same exact ceramic coating that I used on my 2020 Civic Si. That was way back in the day with Sergio. Whoa, that is a lot. Damn it. Definitely smells strong. You're literally putting like a thin coating of glass on your car. It smells like Chemical City. is buttery smooth, dude. Oh my god, I love ceramic coating. Buttery smooth. Well, the windshield is all done, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to let that cure for, I don't know, a few hours at least before I take the car out. 
I probably won't even take the car out for the rest of the day. I did buy, so I did buy a modification. I don't want to spoil it actually. So when it arrives in a few days, I'm just going to install it and it's going to be awesome. It's a much needed modification for these new GRD6s and BRZs. It's going to sound incredible. I will be sure to test out the hydrophobic properties of the windshield the next time it rains, but just look at that. That's all I have for this one. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you probably on probably on Tuesday.